I'm Suzanne Ridgway and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out. Let's look for that subscribe board and smash on it and don't forget to tap on that bell. Today we're going to look into my refrigerator, take some things out to make some breakfast for my kids that are still sleeping, a big batch of them, and breakfast for myself. My husband likes to make his own. He doesn't like eggs. He's very picky, so he takes care of himself. Later in the video, we're going to announce giveaways and some exciting news. We're looking at my refrigerator and we're going on vacation starting tomorrow. This video is previously recorded and I'm looking to see what perishable items are in here that I can pack for the kids. Like a bag of grapes I can bring I'm going to bring my opened cheese. We're going to bring one pound of bacon, some breakfast sausage. We're going to do the kielbasa tonight. That bread, uh, all the way to the left in the middle shelf, maybe done. I'm waiting to hear from my neighbor. I made some meatloaf and I offered him some meatloaf and potatoes. Some of the bread is past its time. I'm going to be checking the dates on all this. That can stay. I'm going to bring one carton of eggs for the vacation pancake syrup anything that's been in there for a few days i'm discarding we're getting a gallon of milk today to go to the resort so that milk in there all the way in the bottom of the right is going to be finished off probably at breakfast i'm going to bring a bag of mozzarella cheese my husband's going to bring a 12 pack of ginger ale as well as myself and the kids do not drink soda they like milk capri suns chocolate milk bottles, bottled water. We're picking up some items at Walmart today or tomorrow. It depends on our schedule. And a couple of items at BJ's that we really need for the trip as well as home. Make some breakfast. I'm going to use up these mushrooms. Stuff like this. That could go bye-bye. We finish up the lettuce for lunch today. I already pre-made a, a salad. And I'm going to have a taco salad because I have some broken taco shells for our salad topper. I can bring these on vacation. Depending on how long the shelf life is, the hot dog buns. Maybe picking up fresh ones at Aldi or Walmart. I did sheet pan tacos with black beans. And I pre-made a salad. And that's going to be my lunch for today. I can bring the crescent rolls, my Pillsbury, and the packed cheese on vacation. It's good till August. I'm going to be throwing this in to my air fryer for dinner tonight with french fries, probably. Something quick and easy. A few mushrooms left. I'm going to slice them all up. And my oldest really likes mushrooms. And with that day-old bread that I have, I'm going to cut it up to make French toast for them for when they wake up this afternoon. I'm going to try some panko on it so it crisps up better. I've never really made a successful batch of French toast, although I did pretty well when I used the leftover hamburger hot dog buns for it. I'm going to saute these up first with a little bit of black pepper and garlic. And oil on my pan on medium heat. Turn my pan on. I always start it high then reduce it to medium. I'm going to grab my black pepper and garlic. I'm get a plate ready. And place the mushrooms on it. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt down. Turn your heat down to medium now that the bright colors under the pan. Just a little bit of salt. It'll help protect you from splatters. A couple times around. And then you're going to grab your mushrooms. And place them on. I'm only going to do a few at a time. Because I don't want to use my big pan this morning. I'm going to grab a spatula. I'm just going to swish them, let them heat up for about two to three minutes. 
I love mushrooms. One of my favorite vegetables. Put a little bit of pepper and garlic on into the mushrooms. About two teaspoons. I have my cheese ready and when the mushrooms are all done I'm going to be making a couple of eggs for myself and then I'm going to prep the French toast so I can get a good portion out of my refrigerator that will perish while we're gone. Stuff that has a long shelf life to the end of July, middle of August can stay behind. I have eggs that are good till the end of August. Other things you need to do if you're going away for anywhere from three, three to five days or more, or even two days, is stop your mail. Real easy to do. Just go down to the post office, let them know you're going to be gone, and then you can just pick it up and when you're back. You can resume it. I'm going to unplug all the unnecessary appliances, like TV sets, and things like a stovetop. I'm going to leave plugged in because it is hard to get to and it's too big to move. Only leave your necessary items plugged in because it's going to save you a lot of energy in the long run. I like to leave with no dirty laundry and a clean house. I'm going to get these onto my plate and cook up the rest of the mushrooms. I'm going to have my husband hit the deep fryer when he comes in because I think I'm going to have a hash brown to see if he wants one. I'm going to get the cutting board rinsed so I can slice up that day old bread for the French toast. And I'm going to throw together an egg wash. You hear the sizzle of the mushrooms? I'm going to leave them on for about another 60 seconds. I'm going to crack open about four eggs. And my husband works from home and he's very loud. I think he's uh, checking on an appointment and probably checking for tomorrow. We always call ahead. Sometimes they let us in at 2 o'clock instead of 4 o'clock if the person vacated early enough and they got it cleaned up. So it's always good to call in ahead of time at your vacation site. Mango. About a cup and a half to start. Put that aside and cut up the bread. Check the condition of your day old bread to make sure that it's not molding on the inside of it and it looks pretty healthy. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this up about an inch thick all the way down so they look like this. A couple dashes of salt and you're going to whisk up your four eggs. Always go by the size of your family. This is a great way to do a large family breakfast in a batch of French toast. Add on as you need. So what I'm going to do is do a wash and dip the bread in the egg, then the panko, and then I'm going to lay it on a sheet for your cookie sheet. And then we're going to do a wash together. So you're going to repeat the process until all the bread is on the cookie sheet. You can even do this with cereal pieces if you have a lot of broken cereal. I preheated my oven to 350 degrees. And you're going to finish until you're done. Your butter spray. And spray them all. And then you're going to take your syrup. I have a bunch of syrup. I'm going to drizzle the syrup on them. This is going to go into a 350 degree oven until it's toasted up. And the egg is completely cooked within the bread and the syrup is all mixed in. So about 15 minutes. 
really good hash browns from Walmart. They're just like the restaurants, and they're cheaper than the Aldi's ones. I think we paid two twenty four for a bunch of them, and I absolutely love them. And they go in for about two and a half minutes, and you preheat the deep fryer for about twenty five minutes. My eggs for my breakfast. I have my black pepper. Deep fryer is ready to go. I'm going to spray the pan. I'm going to make two eggs. Mix it in gently so you don't get splattered. Two and a half is screeching hot. Lower it to medium heat. And I have an entire dozen to bring on vacation. I won't have any extra eggs sitting in the refrigerator while we're gone. Let it solidify. I'm going to throw on my sausage. I'm going to skip the cheese today. Now that it's solidifying, you're going to lift it and flip it. Retrieve the hash brown. That's all it takes. Very quick and easy. You're going to let it drip for a second. It comes out golden brown every time. Always be careful around hot oil. Move the egg. And on the same pan, I'm going to place down my sausages. You can do the sausages first if you wish, and then cook the eggs in the sausage grease. I like to do it the opposite way. I usually drain my sausages, the mushrooms, and the hash browns so I don't have a stomach ache later that day. French toast smells incredible. off. I'm just going to pat them with a paper towel and add my hash brown and mushrooms to the plate. My hash brown and a couple of mushrooms. My teenager is going to have some. I don't think my 12 year old will like them. What a beautiful breakfast that is. And nothing's going to go to waste in my refrigerator while we're on vacation. I'm going to check on the French toast to see how it's doing. It is done. This is what it looks like. It's nice and crispy. The panko did very well. That was a good suggestion from a viewer, a very loyal viewer. And I really appreciate each and every one. In a couple weeks, I'm going to be getting a package in the mail with t-shirts made with my business card logo on it. And I'll also have Facebook and Pinterest, two of the social media sites that I'm on. We're going to have a few small, a few large, medium, and extra large shirts available. Good quality t-shirts, $14.99 plus shipping and handling. U.S. residents only. If you would like one of the t-shirts, please send me a message through Facebook. Just like the page and click on messages or an email, contributes1268 yahoo.com. That is it for this video. I have some giveaways to announce. When we get to 1,700, we're gonna issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. One for new subscribers, one for people who comment. If you're new, introduce yourself, become a part of our growing family. You must be subscribed in the US residence. If you won in the past 60 days, you have to wait out 60 days or to qualify again to give other people a chance. If you don't answer me within two days, you'll be disqualified. But if something bad happened, email me, contributes1268 at yahoo.com. Thank you for watching.